right, I am back with another video. I uh, had a video already planned for yesterday, but it was kind of depressing and decided not to, to post it or anything. It was just about my trip into town with not much uh, going on there. I went to uh, Big Lots and found um, a couple of DVDs, only one of them I have right here. I found Joan of Arcadia, the first season of Big Lots, three bucks. That was the only one of those there, and everything else was five dollars or more for the box sets. So I figured I'd grab that one. That's a pretty good deal. That's cheaper than a, a Goodwill in most thrift stores, so why not get a brand new factory sealed one? Um, let's see what else. Um, I went to, uh, I, when I was at Big Lots, I looked for cards, and I actually did find some, uh, 2020 Heritage, but I left it, because $5 for 15 cards didn't seem to be all that great of a deal. And it's just, you know, bargain bin type cards anyway, so I just decided to leave them. And I went to Walmart, and they didn't even have any Pokemon. I think they did have one box of Mandalorian or something. Um, and I said some box sets of some sort of gaming cards. I think that you get more or less the same, uh, stuff in every one but uh, there was no evidence of, it, of there ever being any sports cards there. All the boxes and the empty cases and whatever were all gone. So, uh, um, And I watched numerous videos of people trying to find any single sports cards. I think there's a few random football cards around here and there, but uh, that's about it. So I'll just show you um, very little. I, I think I got mail on Tuesday, nothing on Wednesday, nothing on Thursday, and almost nothing on Friday. Been very, very thin. It's not that I haven't ordered things. It's just that things are not showing up. Um, so I'll show you the uh, thing that came in today, and I was like, what did I do from a post office in New York? I had no idea. None, because I don't do any, uh, um, cancel requests for, uh, um, New York. But I guess I did. Um, I'm not sure what the cancel got there. It was interesting. Um, so, but I did get some cancels, and this is for Fleet Week of New York, and it was, uh, kind of a cool one. Uh, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, May 27th, 2020, cancel. Uh, that's the initial date, I guess, and then they cancel it for a month or two after that. And Fleet Week is, uh, New York is canceled due to coronavirus, Staten Island. Uh, uh, so that's really pretty neat. And I got it on this old John Hancock postcard. And then um, they sent it in this envelope. I, I put my return address on this one uh, because I thought they could use that as the return envelope. But anyway... Um, there is one as well. So some vintage stamps there. I thought that was cool to do. Um, Fleet Week uh, can, uh, canceled due to coronavirus. And I used some old 70s stamps, 70s, early 80s stamps. So I thought that was really pretty nice looking there. So a really pretty neat thing there. And then Tuesday I ordered some, or well over the weekend I had ordered some Boy Scout patches. I got I think 12 for 8 bucks plus shipping. Which is a heck of a deal. Some of these patches are like 10, 15, 20. Uh, one guy uh, got a couple of lots for 8 bucks. And some of those patches are listed on the internet for $40 a patch. So um, they're kind of like cards. There's uh, short prints, limited editions. Um, kind of gimmicky things here, uh, but these are council shoulder patches. So here's a San Diego Imperial Council. Did not have that one, so I marked that off on my checklist here. And these are probably the two best ones here. I couldn't find this one on the web currently. Greater Cleveland Council, 2010 Boy Scouts of America National Scout Jamboree. Jamboree patches are a dime a dozen, um, but this one I did not see. And I think it's probably about a five ten dollar patch um, on a good day. Probably more like a five dollar patch. So that was pretty neat there. And this one here, some of these you have to pay money for. I mean, you have to pay money for these. But uh, some of them you have to, you know, donate or do some other kind of thing here. This is the Tecumseh Council 2002 flight tests at um, Hoffman uh, Prairie. So that's really a pretty neat patch there. I couldn't find anything about that one. Uh, there's one I'm still trying to track down. It's Disney's Up. Um, uh, from like the Los Angeles Council or one of those, uh, Piedmont or somewhere in California. And, um, it was a donation of 10 bucks or something or a purchase of 10 bucks. And I was going to do that, but I didn't know if they still had any, so I hadn't done that. And now I can't find one. I think had had different versions of Disney's Up. The more you pay, you got different color borders or different picture images. So there is that. And that is all the mail I have gotten this week. I've been watching videos of people sending off jillions of letters to uh, for Caleb's uh, uh, or the, the the decade of the 80s that Caleb is participating in, or decade of the uh, battle of the decades uh, what's the 90s versus the 50s or something like that and uh, 
I don't know, just not a lot going on here, just absolutely, just totally, um, totally dead here. Um, I've got a care package eventually to go out when I feel like spending more dollars. Uh, mail had already got here, so a TTM request did not get in the box. Uh, um, so that's really about all I have. Just let me know what's going on. I, like I said, zero cards at any stores. Uh, uh, you could go to check Big Lots because they had some cards. They were very hard to find. And I decided $5 a pack for 15 um, Heritage cards and end up in the, the uh, bargain bin, uh, the, 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 the value boxes eventually uh, is not worth me grabbing. So I uh, hope you got some uh, information out of that and uh, thank you for watching.